First and foremost, all praises to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Wabrakakodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you true, sincere brethren out there, pushing out this purified truth, cleansing this wicked, defiled kingdom with this word, and to the rest of the church who believe as well. The water to Yahweh Shai, because without him, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. So, article reads, Kanye West Publishing Contract says he's not allowed to retire. By Carly Powell, March 7th of 2019. Kanye West Publishing Contract with EMI is currently at the center of a complex lawsuit. Now it's been revealed to the public just how intense the terms are. For starters, he's not allowed to retire. Ever. So just like it says, for starters, he's not allowed to retire ever. That is crazy. That is freaking crazy, man. When he was on stage at a performance some time back, he had said he sold his soul to the devil. He knew it was a crappy deal. At least it came with a few toys like a Happy Meal. He said that out of his own mouth. So there's a good chance that he knew that when he signed this contract, that he would uh, never be able to retire. But he probably saw it as, well, I get to do what I enjoy doing. I don't want to work at McDonald's or Burger King. I don't want to be flipping burgers. I don't want to work no nine to five, you know, laboring and hardly making any ends meet. So we saw this more than likely as his way out. But see, the thing is, when you're dealing with the music industry, when you're dealing with Hollywood in general, you have to make a lot of sacrifices. And that's why a lot of people have been seeing Kanye West dyeing his hair blonde. You know, when you dye your hair blonde, a lot of times that shows that you made a sacrifice. It also can show that you're under uh, Monarch MK Ultra mind control. These things are real. This isn't some conspiracy theory because everybody tries to make things that they don't understand a conspiracy theory. All right. Everything is not based off of a theory. It is a conspiracy. But it's not a theory because the proof has been proven over and over again about the evils and the wicked things that happen in Esau's media, in Esau's Hollywood, okay, Hollowood, which is witchcraft. So before I go any further, I want to start this off in the book of, in fact, let's go to the Apocrypha. First Maccabees 1 and 11. In those days went there out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. And you have that going on today. You have Israelites literally signing their name on a contract, making a covenant with these heathen. More so the devil, Esau, for a little bit of money, for the fame and the fortune. And a lot of times our people assume that, well, when I sign this contract, I'll be able to have a better life. I'll be able to have financial freedom. I'll be able to spend money on what I want, do what I want to do. But see, it doesn't work like that. When you're dealing in the industry, let's say you have a million dollar contract. A lot of times that first million dollars is a loan. You have to make all that money back through album sales, through doing shows, through doing interviews and things like that. So you have a lot of Jake. They'll get all excited and thinking, well, man, I, I just made my first million. They'll spend it all on jewelry, spend it all on cars. Then they end up in debt because they didn't realize because not reading a contract or not having a lawyer or someone to explain to them that really, this is a loan. You have to make all this money back, okay? So you have to be aware when you're, when you're making deals with Esau, you're dealing with the devil. You're not dealing with an honest man with integrity. He's trying to get over on you. Just like when you're trying to buy a new car and you go to a car salesman, his job is to persuade you to buy that car. His job is not to be honest with you, okay? In those days went there out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. 
For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. So Jake might feel, well, if I sign this contract, I can leave behind the sorrows of my life. I'm tired of being average. I'm tired of being common. I want to be on TV. I want the women. I want the cars. I want the jewelry. I want the clothes. Everything that I can, I, I can imagine, I'll be able to obtain it. All I need to do is sign this contract and then do what I love to do. But a lot more comes with that. Let's say you um, go to your bank, right? And you withdraw $50,000. You can't just go to your bank and withdraw $50,000 and not have what I would like to call the men in black come to you. Whether you're at home knocking on your door. Hey, can we come in? We want to ask you some questions. Sit you down. You might offer them some, hey, can I, can I, get, can I get you some coffee? You want some tea? No, I don't, I don't want no coffee. I don't want no tea. Have a seat. They sit down. So we noticed on, let's say, March 2nd of 2019, you withdrew $50,000. What did you use that money on? And you might say, well, I spent that money on a brand new car. Okay, well, where's the receipt? Where's the car? Because the reason why they want to keep, you know, tabs on what you're doing is they don't want you investing in your community. They don't want you trying to help out your people. They want you to spend your money on cars, clothes, and hoes. They don't want you spending your money on Israelites to further the so-called black and brown community. Let's say you go and you withdraw $100,000 and you told them, hey, I, I use that to help out the community. They're going to warn you. Like, you can't be doing that. That's not a part of the contract. And if you get caught doing that again, there's going to be consequences. Then you might get a knock on the door another day. Same guys. Or it might be different guys, but from the same team. Sit you down. Hey, you're due for... Um, a sacrifice you already sacrificed your mother now we need another sacrifice well what do you mean well you can either drink blood you can either sacrifice one of your children you can either bend over and take it up the rectum because that's also a part of you know making backdoor deals with the devil, making a covenant with the heathen, signing your name on these contracts. Okay, and Israel thinks that, you know, being able to do that, you'll you'll have an easier life when really you're, you're more enslaved than someone who's common. Okay, so let me close this for a second. The lawsuit details the terms of the publishing contracts, which states, Wes, Wes will remain actively involved in the writing, recording, and producing compositions and major label albums as your principal occupations. The agreement also states at no time during the term will Kanye initiate a retirement or extended hiatus, which pretty much means break. He can't have any extended breaks. He can't decide out of, you know, out of all the time he's put in, I just want to take a, a, a year vacation. I just want to take a break. That's not on the contract. So Kanye literally sold his life over, man. OK. And our people naturally want to do the right thing. But the devil tries to persuade our people to do wicked. Kanye would like to do music that has a little more um, substance, but the devil won't let him because why? He made a covenant with death. He made a covenant with Esau. Proverbs 12 and 26. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduceth them. So you have our people being seduced by the devil. They may want to come into the industry, push out music with some substance, but then they realize, damn, I can't even make the music I want to make anymore. So now they're in these videos, you know, with women shaking their ass, showing titties, and they may want to change. They may want to have more of a uh, mature, um, more reserved content but the the devil won't allow them because if they try to they'll get hit with persecution esau may try to take out a family member or have them perform another ritual go to these sex parties 
where you have a bunch of men wearing masks and women wearing masks and the person who has to make the uh the sacrifice whether it be their rectum whether it be drinking goat's blood or baby's blood you might even actually have to eat a baby you get recorded and everyone around you they have their faces covered so you don't even know who they are but they know who you are just like Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai deals with humility these elites deal with humility as well they have humility rituals and part of a man getting his back blew out by another man and then having another man going into his his uh his face orally just being honest i know it sounds crazy and messed up but these are the things that's happening in hollywood you have men getting trains ran on them in hollywood to make it to the top okay just like how uh, certain women have to pretty much get ransacked. They have to take it in the, in the vaginal, the rectum, the mouth at the same time just to keep their careers going. Or they have to go to witch doctors to, to pray and, and have their careers going, have to drink blood, have to perform cannibalism. I mean, the list goes on and on, man. I mean, there's so much that goes on. And our people want to, you know, do the right thing, but they can't because they sold out. And when you sign these deals with these contracts, you're basically making a deal with the mob. Okay? And if you go against the contract, there's going to be consequences. So men like Kanye West, okay, and women, a lot of them actually miss their old lives they miss being normal they wouldn't mind going back to being normal because they had to do so much wickedness just to stay popular and even if they didn't want to stay popular they still have to perform these things or esau will come and take their asses out man okay kill somebody and then have it look like it was a suicide because like i said dealing with these labels signing your name on these contracts, whether it be literally in blood or just the fact you signed your names on these contracts, making a covenant with the heathen, you got to go with the deal. You have to go with the bargain. See, someone like me, I can speak about these things and nothing uh, I have to worry about because I didn't make no bargains with the devil. I didn't make any covenants with the devil. So Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai he got me. But you have artists who may want to speak up, but they can't because they actually made a bargain with the devil. They sold their soul. Okay? The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces them. That's why the worst music today comes from our people. Because the wicked seduce us into thinking, well, in order for you to be hot, you have to make music about adultery. You have to make music about being proud, being prideful. Okay, so the fact that Kanye West can't retire ever, he can't do what he wants to do, period. All right, he may he may want to have time to spend with his family. He can't spend time with his family like he wants to. Kanye is suing EMI and his label after his attempt to buy back his publishing rights failed. So he doesn't even own his own stuff. All right. Matter of fact, let's go to Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. So Esau has not made any accounts of our labors. Here it is. Kanye West has labored making music, bringing in money. But he doesn't even own the rights to the music that he's putting out. Okay. The famed rapper producer is seeking freedom from his contracts in regards to publishing and recording. The no retirement bit is his best chance at gaining back control. And that's just freaking crazy. No retirement. <laughs> you know. And Kanye West probably knew that. But Kanye West probably just thought of dollar signs. Money. Go back. 
dollar signs, money. So let's go to the book of uh, First Timothy's. Six and ten. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. So the love of money is what causes our people to sell out. It's not money itself. It's the love of money. That's why on the most common bill, which is the dollar bill, you have the eye of horse, also known as the evil eye or the all seeing eye. Because see, these elites use subliminal messaging. They use witchcraft. They use Kabbalahism. They use enchantments to promote their filth, their wickedness. And since a lot of our people love money, you have men who are willing to get bent over and to blow off another man just so that they can have fame and fortune. But then it goes even further when they may have to sacrifice a family member. This is how they get down, okay? Sacrificing their children unto Baal for fame and fortune. This is not a conspiracy theory. This is the truth. This is how it works. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after they have erred from the faith and pierce themselves through with many sorrows. And you have those who think money brings happiness, but you have a lot of men and women who are rich, but they're full of sorrows, they're miserable. Matter of fact, let's go to Revelations. Revelations 3 and 17. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. So a lot of these celebrities, they may be living better than the common person, but they're full of sorrows. They're miserable, okay? Because they have to do so much evil just to keep it. And a lot of times they may not even want to, but they have to because they don't want to lose their life. They don't want to lose a loved one. They may have sacrificed a loved one already. Now Esau wants them to require, or Esau is requiring another sacrifice. And now it's like, well, okay, my first sacrifice, that wasn't someone I cared about as much. But now my second one, now I'm forced to sacrifice someone I, I love, I truly love. Because see, these elites, they pay attention to your life closely. If they see you have a close relationship with your mother, they may want you to sacrifice her. Or if they see you with a close relationship with your child or your children, they will want you to sacrifice your children or one of your children. You have to make sacrifices, but yet you may have the nicest car. You may live in a very nice house, but you're miserable. You're wretched. You're naked. You're blind. Okay. So these are the things that come with loving money. Making deals with Esau, thinking it will change your life. Okay, you, you literally have to get bent over, man. All right, and the scriptures tell you that. Let's go to Sirach 10 and 9. Why is earth and ashes proud? And the industry, the music industry, the Hollywood industry promotes a lot of pride. There is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. For such as one setteth his own soul to sell, because while he liveth, he casteth away his bowels. So you have men selling their souls, all right, casting away their bowels by allowing a rod to go up their rectum. What's the point of that, man? Well, you do it for riches. You do it for money. You do it for fame and fortune. But you lose your manhood. Okay, that's why the scriptures tell you the sodomite is to get put to death. So these devils, they love to, to take sins that are worthy of death and have you perform those. Because Esau reads the Bible and everything that the scriptures call good, they call it evil. And everything that the scriptures call evil, they call it good. So the more evil something is, those are the types of things Esau will have you do. Just like you're supposed to be put to death if you sacrifice your, your children unto Baal. But they'll have you sacrifice your children just so you can have fame. 
you're supposed to get put to death for sodomites, for being a sodomite. But then Esau will bend you over, try to turn you out. He might even use some beautiful women. Like you might be a man who's totally into women and you never thought of sleeping with the man. Esau try to get you drunk, try to get you some cocaine, bring you in some fine models. And then, you know, with them fine models, here comes a man in the mist while you're popping her. He just comes behind you, starts touching on you, trying to get you uh, worked up. Next thing you know, you you getting your back blew out because you was in the moment. This is how the devil works, man. I'm not even I'm not even BSing, man. You gotta look into these things. Hollywood, Holly Weird, okay? It is it is no place for an Israelite man. Okay? Why is earth and ashes proud? There is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. For such as one setteth his own soul to sell, because while he liveth, he casteth away his bowels. So you have men selling their soul by bending over. You don't always have to sell your soul in terms of you, you go to spiritual demon Satan and he's like, let me buy your soul. It's, it don't work like that. You sell your soul by going against the moral code of the scriptures, man. Okay, the scriptures tell you to carry yourself a certain way. So when you sell your soul, you have to go against those things. So you have men being sodomized for fame and fortune. And that's why a lot of them become um, rich, but yet miserable. Because they had to bend over. They had to, they had to suck rod, okay, just to get where they are, which is Esau's way of the humility ritual. Matthew 16, what's that, 25? Let's know, it might be 26, I don't know. Matthew 16 and 26, for what is a man profited? For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? And I just read to you, a man will give his bowels, a man will give his anal, okay, in exchange for his soul to receive fame and fortune from the devil. We live in a world where the wicked prosper. So in order for you to prosper, you have to be wicked as well. We're not in the times where, not saying that, you know, you, you can't be somewhat successful in this world, but in this time, to really be successful, you got to be wicked, man. There's no way around it, period. Esau has took over. And you're not going to call yourself you know, rich and wealthy and living well off without you being a, a wicked asshole, man. All right. For what for what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? For what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? <laughs> they'll give their children. They'll give their, their mother, their fathers or their fathers, their mothers. They'll give their their anal. You know, women do the same thing. You know, women blowing rod, taking it up the rectum taking it up the vaginal, you know, have, having all these trains ran on them just to stay in power. And women are more submissive. So women are, are more easy to be dominated than men are. Okay. But when men get dominated, they want to all of a sudden get all these tattoos so they can feel masculine because they're messed up, man. When a man gets popped in his rectum, he is psychologically damaged for the rest of his life. Okay? Kanye is suing EMI and his label after his attempt to buy back his publishing rights failed. The famed rapper producer is seeking freedom. Why? Because he's a slave. From his contracts in regards to publish, pu publishing and recording, the no retirement bit is his best chance at gaining back control. His case references the California Labor Code, Section 2855, which states that personal service contracts may run no longer than seven years. The official complaint from Wes reads, it makes no difference under Section 2855 whether the contract is otherwise fair or whether the employer has fulfilled its end of the bargain. It matters only whether the services begun more than seven years ago. There can be no dispute that this happened here. The seven year period ended, ended the seven year period ended under his contract on October 1st, 2010. That was around the time Kanye West released My Beautiful Dark, Twisted Fantasy. 
All right, so Kanye West, he's he's stuck, man. Because why he he made a deal with the devil. And like I read earlier, the wicked seduce our people. A lot of times our people want to do right. But then making a deal with the devil, they can't. They're forced to be evil. That's why when you look at a lot of these music videos, you see them throwing up all these different hand signs, the one eye symbolism. All that comes with selling your soul to the devil. This is Proverbs 6 and 13. He winketh with his eyes. And when you wink, you have to close one of your eyes, okay? Which shows the one eye symbolism. He speaketh with his feet. He teacheth with his fingers. Okay, so you have these artists in these music videos throwing up different hand signs. Okay, throwing up the uh, the triple six hand sign, which looks like the, the blood sign. You have uh, a street gang known as the Bloods. They throw up the triple six hand sign. Well, really, that goes back to uh, these witches and these warlocks. That was their sign first, throwing up the 666 hand sign, throwing up the devil horns. Okay, I forget the actual name for it, but to keep it simple, throwing up the devil horns. Okay, uh, covering one eye. Because we're in uh, the new Egypt, man. America is known as Sodom and Egypt. All right, because you have men literally becoming homosexuals for fame. And Egypt, because they're using uh, Egyptian symbology in their music videos because of the devil telling them to. All right. And that's what happens when you're so quick to want to be rich. You have to do what Esau tells you, man. He winketh with his eyes. He speaketh with his feet. He teacheth with his fingers. And that's what you see in these music videos, in these movies. All sorts of symbolism. People covering their eye. So one eye is showing. You see the one eye on the dollar bill with the pyramid. Okay? Showing you different signs that they use with how their, their feet are placed or how their, their fingers are being used. Which is the same thing you see in these street gangs, how they speak with their hands. All that goes back to masonry. Okay? Let's go to uh, Proverbs 28 and uh, 22. He that deviseth, he that hasteth to be rich hath an evil eye, and considereth not that poverty shall come upon him. And that's what's happening to Kanye West. Okay? He was hasty to be rich. And now poverty is coming upon him because he doesn't even own the, the music that he's put out, man. He's trying to buy back the music he's put out, and he, and he, and he failed. Yeah, he has the fame. Many people would like to have the fame and the fortune as well. But they don't realize the consequences that come when you're hastening to be rich, when you when you sell your soul to the devil. Okay? That is the world we're living in, man. Esau can give you power. Because the world was given to the wicked. He that hasted to be rich has an evil eye and considereth not that poverty shall come upon him. And you have many artists going through that. Look at Tyrese. Look at uh, DMX. Look at R. Kelly. The list goes on and on, man. So this is what happens when you make these deals with the wicked one. Esau, the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. We don't just say that just to say it. Esau's behind all this crap. Luke 4 and 3, And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command this stone that it be made bread. And Yahweh answered him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. We jump down. And the devil, taking him up into an high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them. For that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will give it. So that shows you that the devil, Esau, has the power to give you worldly riches. Esau even tempted Yahweh Shai. Okay? If thou therefore will worship me, all shall be thine. 
And how do you show that you worship the devil? You do what he tells you to do. When you make that agreement, when you sign them contracts, you're worshiping Esau. When, when people talk about selling your soul to the devil, that's really just speaking of selling your soul to Esau. Okay? And these devils are literally conjuring up demons behind the scenes. They actually have um, connections with spiritual demon Satan. All right? And the higher you go up, the more you see. And the more you see, the more your life's in danger because if you try to turn away and expose it, they'll come after you and kill you, man, because you made the oath. You signed that contract. You made a bargain with Esau. You made a bargain for your soul. And now they have all the proof of you getting bent over and popped at them sex parties. They have all the proof of you eating some baby through cannibalism. So if, let's say you try to change and, and, and want to expose them. All they got to do is pull out videos and photos of you being wicked. It's called blackmail. That term itself shows you that niggas are still niggas in the eyes of Esau. The term blackmail shows you that, man. If thou therefore will worship me, all shall be thine. So this is the devil trying to tempt you how shy. Because the devil was given the power. He was given the power to, to have the worldly riches, okay? But you can't trust the devil. What's this, Job 21? Let's, it might be 7. Job 21 and 7. Wherefore do the wicked live, become old, yeah, are mighty in power? So they have power to give you fame. They have power to give you the fortune, to give you the women. They have power to put you in these movies, these music videos. They have the power to do so because the earth was given unto the wicked. All right. But what comes with making deals with the devil? You get deceived. All right. Anytime you bargain with the devil, it's never a honest bargain. You're always going to get fucked in the end, literally. And and uh, um, referencing symboli symbolically. You're going to always come up short making deals with the devil. And if you do make your first million, Esau already made 50 million off of you. And that first million, a lot of times, is just the, the business loan that you have to pay back. A lot of times, they don't tell you these things, man. Okay? Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So, since the earth was given into the hand of the wicked, you have to go to the wicked to sell out in order to make it. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So the point I'm referencing is the earth was given to the wicked. The wicked are in control. Who's the wicked today? The so-called white man, Esau. And and the, and the the deals, the the covenants that our people make, they always come up short. Okay, Esau increases off of our people, man. The earth was given to Esau, and Esau increases off of the backs of Israelites, off of our music. Off of our talents. James 5 and 4. Behold the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you, kept back by fraud. Cry it. <laughs> Kanye West is being kept back by fraud. And now he's crying. And the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. So really this is speaking of Israel in general. But this can also be used to these damn celebrities, man. A lot of them, they they want the fame, then they end up getting framed. A lot of them want to be rich, then they end up in a ditch. A lot of them want the fortune, then they end up unfortunate. That's what happens when you make these covenants with the devil, man. The love of money is the root of all evil. And that's why a lot of our people are involved in so much wickedness. You watch their music videos and you see nothing but wickedness as you will call Illuminati symbolism, because the way of the wicked seduces them and they have no choice. A lot of them are put under mind control, put in these trances, and sometimes they'll end up breaking out of them and Esau puts their asses back in the trance to where they're basically sleepwalking zombies because they sold out. They sold their soul to the devil 
And the Lord ain't dealing with them now because they openly made a deal. They openly made that covenant with the devil. Okay. And that's why the, the wicked prosper in this world. Because the scriptures tell you in Isaiah 26 how favor is shown to the wicked. So those are the same ones you have to go to for the fame and the fortune. To make sacrifices. To do wickedness. To stay there. You look at any rich man today. He's wicked as hell, man. This isn't like in the ancient world where you can be rich and righteous. Okay. Their time is short, though. All right. And, and a lot of Israelites are waking up. But see, a lot of these celebrities, man, they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. A lot of them made these deals when they were younger. And now they're coming into that age of, you know, their minds just different and they want to go back and they can't. So this is this is the. Um, the casualty that often happens to our people. From trying to be rich and, and famous and have the whole world. You have to lose your soul, just as Kanye West. Because now he's not allowed to retire ever. And he doesn't he doesn't own any of his uh his publishing. That's crazy, man. So Lord willing, this lesson was simple and it was edifying. Kahala Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Shalom.